Can we have the next question from the brother? Yes, thank you um, for the wonderful talk. My name is Chai. I just want to know, um, since media is the most powerful weapon nowadays, uh, certain irresponsible parties have released uh, media which causes certain parties to resort to much violence uh, method in solving the problem. Um, according to our Quran, what is the best uh, approach for this kind of uh, scenarios? The brother asked the question, I think is referring to the innocence of Muslims, correct? Uh, yes, correct. The brother is saying that sometimes certain things as media is the most powerful weapon, certain things come into the media which hurt the feelings of other people. So what is the best strategy that should be done? Brother is talking about a movie that was released a few weeks before, Innocence of Muslim, which has caused turmoil in the Muslim Ummah, a UN cry. And I have given a reply that how Muslims should behave. Normally what happens that whenever such issues come, it's common for the Western world to bring out things which are against Islam. We had the case of Salman Rushdie wrote satanic verses, Tasnim al wrote Lajja, then we have the Danish cartoons, now we have innocence of Muslims. See, normally when such things come, almost all the Muslims jump into the agitation. Number one, what happens is that if Muslims are doing certain productive activity, for example, one person is doing some 100 points of activity, I am doing 100 points, he is doing 100 points. When such thing happens, everyone jumps into it and we stop our normal activity. Maybe from 100 goes to 0.5 and we all jump into these things. Muslims are emotional, that is good, mashallah. But what happens, the growth of activity is stopped. What I suggest, there should be specialized organizations to deal with such issues. How today the aid of specialization, we have heart specialists, brain specialists, kidney specialists. We should have specialized Muslim organization to deal with these issues so that the other Muslims can continue with their normal routine activity of spreading Islam and not stop the growth. For this, I have suggested six strategies. Number one, what I suggest is, there should be a battery of international lawyers. The best lawyers from different parts of the world, maybe the best lawyers from Malaysia, from Muslim Gulf countries, maybe from India, maybe Sri Lanka, from different parts of the world, maybe best lawyers from UK, from USA. Whenever such things happen, we should file a case in the International Court of Law. I don't believe we will get justice. I know the International Court of Law is far away from justice, especially where Muslims are concerned. But at least we will put our point through. Have the best of lawyers, the person who has done the act, he should be brought to task. Even if the law will not punish him, but he'll have a hell of a time replying to it. Number one, we should have battery of international top lawyers. If required, we should hire even non-Muslim lawyers. Put a case in the International Court of Law, point number one. Point number two, the Muslim countries should protest officially. Through the foreign ministers of the country, they should protest through the ambassadors in that country that what has happened is wrong. Whichever country is involved in doing this act, all the Muslim countries through the foreign ministry, through the ambassadors should protest, number two. Number three, we should give an intellectual reply to that act. Intellectual reply to satanic verses, intellectual reply to Danish cartoons, intellectual reply to Lajja or to innocence of Muslim. Strategy number four, if we know the country involved in the act, if we know there is a dealing with the Muslim countries, there should be a ban in importing their products. The best example is during Danish cartoons, Denmark wasn't interested in listening to Muslims. So all the Gulf countries got together and they said, we banned the products of Denmark. They went in a loss of more than a billion dollars. Then they wanted to sit across the table. Put a sanction against that country. If you believe in freedom of speech, we believe in freedom of using what we want. It's our wish whether we want to use Danish products or not. The moment there was a sanction against the Danish products, Denmark wanted to talk to the Muslims. This is strategy number four. Strategy number five, all the Muslims throughout the world should protest via email, via letters, via fax, protest to the person who is involved, the organization involved or the country involved. At last, there should be a mass peaceful protest 
There should be a show of strength, a peaceful protest, but it should be peaceful. We should not damage the property of another country, should not hurt innocent people, should not indulge in violence. It is prohibited. We should not kill anyone of the same community. As I said earlier, it is haram in Islam. There should be a mass peaceful protest. A show of strength should be there. Millions of people should gather together. But it should be a peaceful march. We should not indulge in violence. If Muslims get together and do it intellectually, inshallah, we can give a fitting reply to such things. Hope that answers the question. Thank you. The brother has a question that Malaysia is a multiracial country. If Hudud law has to be applied, how should it be applied? 